my things to the world. Big responsibility, but I'm excited to see what Robert and I make together. <laughs> Just imagining the different traits that we're going to get to watch grow and expand over the years and excited to be able to show someone all the things that we see and experience and get to see them through their eyes and they get to see things through our eyes. Bringing life into the world. Well, I mean, how much did I really have to do with it? I think I know when it happened. It was over uh, Memorial Day weekend. My participation in this act is, well, we know how small it is. Yet, yeah. uh, my DNA is powerful, artistic, very eccentric, and I really hope that her DNA has overridden mine completely because she's a truly great person. He's a nurturer. He's really a nurturer at heart. He's a great, he, he's far more sensitive to people around him than I am. <laughs> like, I'll get up in the morning. She's already up. She went to feed the boys, the cats. I roll over. I do a systems check. All right, that hurts. That doesn't. I'm getting older, but maybe I can do it gracefully. I roll out of bed. First thought, best thought, caffeine. Caffeine makes me happy. You know what makes me happy? When I'm not so self-consumed that I'm genuinely interested in my surroundings. Because the crazy thing is you can be somewhere terrible and you're loving it. Or you can be somewhere heavenly and you're absolutely inconsolable between your ears. So to me, happiness is the absence of self-obsession. He's got a perfect blend of being incredibly eccentric and out there as you would expect someone with his creative talents to be and yet at the same time one of the most grounded people you'll ever deal with and it's it's this weird kind of juxtaposition that makes it just really nice to be around but the responsibility i guess of bringing life into the world uh here's what happened Rescue pets? Absolutely not. Why do we want to rescue a couple of kitties from a bush in West Hollywood? Like, they always have three legs, you gotta pretend they're a real cat, but they're all banged up, they're traumatized. I don't want it. This is D'Artagnan. But we rescued a couple of kitties. And that... is Montgomery. And what happened was this innate maternal instinct kind of came out of her. And, you know, we're feeding them milk, and they're so young, and they're in the tub, and it's all she's thinking about. The next thing you know, all of a sudden, she's treating them like they're her, her babies. And then all of a sudden, we start thinking a little more about babies. <clears throat> and then we started practicing. As often as possible. It's insane to imagine what they're going to do when they start talking or when they're nine or when they're 15 or 16 and going off to drive for the first time. You're like, oh my God, he's out in the world. And it's terrifying. <laughs> What's this guy going to be like at 18? Where is he going to be headed? He's caught up with an attitude he had when he was like 20 years old. I think now, I think all the, the, the grandiosity that he had back then is just finally balanced by the achievement that he's had. I think that's why it hasn't shifted because he was ahead of his time in his own head <laughs> and then matched up with it to present day. It's a hybrid. And in fact, it's, it's acted as a way of kind of humbling him. When it stops, it goes to electric. Because he finally got all the things that he imagined he would get. You know, it's 2012, so having a baby is a very technologically advanced event. And then the other day we went into uh, Dr. Platt's office and they strapped her up again and you listen to your unborn child's heartbeat as loud as like a dance club seemingly. And it's so clarifying that he goes through periods of excitement and then he calms down. You can talk to it, you can notice the ebb and flow of it. But all of a sudden, boy, it just gets real as all get out. Like, he's coming. He's going to be here in a couple weeks. And, um, he's alive. But it's given me this whole new point of view about, oh my God, there's this thing that only happens between an unborn child and their mother. Mother is about nurturing and responsibility and selflessness. And it's about just showing something how much you 
love it and care for it and will take care of it no matter what. It's just a warmth. If you think about it, everything's an alien to everything else, right? Like I'm sure I look insane to the goats. I'm sure the horses think the alpacas are trippy. The alpacas probably think that the fact that Susan's stomach has gotten so big, well, maybe they know what that's about, right? That's more of an interspecies understanding. But let me give you all the names. Horses. One sock and a little D. Goats. Trigger and Memo. Alpacas. Miss Brain. Madre. Dandy. And Fuzzy. Cats, most important. Not to take away from the other animals. And then there's Susan. She's an animal. And then there's our boy. Can't tell you his name yet. And then I round it up. We're out. Where's my light? I get bored really easily. I get bored with people really easily. I get bored with routine easily. I don't like things that are average, normal. Carol, I've had the best quote in the world about that and just wanting that, that great light that everybody looks at and goes, ah, and, and I feel like that's what I've found in my partner. The only people for me. The only people for me. Are the mad ones. Are the mad ones. The ones who are mad to live. The ones who are mad to live. Mad to talk. Mad to talk. Mad. Mad to be saved. To be saved. Desirous of everything at the same Desirous time. Desirous of everything at the same time. The ones who never yawn. The ones who never yawn. Say a or say a commonplace thing. thing but burn. But burn. 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 Like fabulous, fabulous yellow, yellow Roman, Roman candles, candles exploding, exploding like, like spiders, spiders across, across the stars. stars. And in the middle, and in the middle you see the blue center light pop and everybody goes. Everyone goes. Oh. I'm so excited to have a kid who's going to have part of that in him. I think I'm going to look at him every day and go, ah. Oh.